decompression sickness occurred for the first time when workers surfaced from their pressurized workspace, the casson, without step-by-step -step pressure equalization. The sickness can be caused by several different factors, including the dive time, the depth, and the surfacing method. Decompression sickness can be caused by diving too long or by surfacing too quickly, unless several life-saving rules are observed. With increasing ambient pressure, the nitrogen contained in the air you breathe dissolves in your blood. In order to keep the nitrogen dissolved when resurfacing, when the ambient pressure decreases, it's vital not to ascend too quickly. This is why it's very important to achieve a controlled ascent of not more than 10 meters per minute. If the pressure decreases too quickly, nitrogen bubbles form in blood and body tissue as not enough can be breathed out. The bubbles in the blood are similar to champagne bubbles that form after you open the bottle. This is also a pressure drop. Even with light decompression sickness, the bubbles can cause itching skin. In fact, this is usually the first sign of decompression sickness. These creeps can also be the starting signs of a serious illness. Obese divers may feel stomach pains because the nitrogen is carried off more slowly from fatty tissue, which has less effective blood circulation than muscle tissue. This is why fat is considered slow tissue. Heart and skeletal muscles are examples of fast tissues. Sometimes a diver will suffer from the bends. These manifest themselves in the form of aching muscles, joints and bones and are caused by nitrogen bubbles gathering in the afflicted areas. Temporary paralysis can occur. The casualty may feel such strong pain that he writhes in agony. If the bubbles form in the brain or in the central nervous system, certain nerves may become paralyzed or even paraplegia can occur. In the brain, the bubbles can cause hallucinations or blindness and sometimes they lead to death. If decompression times are disregarded, gas bubbles can form in the bloodstream. If bubbles gather in the lung, they can cause acute respiratory depression, coughing and anxiety and possibly also cardiac arrest. Gas bubbles cutting off the coronary arteries can also lead to a heart attack. 